What did you want to talk about? <laughs> Are you? <laughs> no, we just had a question posed to us yeah. that I think is very important. So, we are Grace Healing. This is Ina Marie Hale. Hello. And I'm and Larry welcome. Reynolds. Yes. Um, we had a question posed that many people ask, and it is, why did God let this happen? That's a very popular <clears throat> one yeah. and one that's asked a lot. Exactly. And in a nutshell, bottom line is God did not let it happen, even though God allowed for it to happen. It's the spiritual process that brings about anything less than pure, less than blessed, not seemingly of God. Yeshua described it when he said, Every single thing you see of corruption emerges first from the order of principalities, the spiritual realm. So anything of corruption that rises is not God. However, I will say that God does let it happen because our role here, most of us humans have forgotten. We are here to do exactly as Yeshua said and set the captives free. Most people don't understand what the captives are. No, they don't. The captives are not some vile, nasty, demonic beast with horns sticking out of its head and massive wings and all kinds of crazy stuff. It is the simple subtlety of the spirit of fear, the spirit of anxiety, mm -hmm. the spirit of confusion, the spirit of depression. These things are spiritual in nature. They are not God. What's happened is we humans have walked the planet ignorant of this so we think when a person is in depression and they move like a train toward that point of committing suicide oh my god how could god let this happen god didn't it is we that are not seeking the attributes and nature of god and instead of sitting there going i've been feeling depressed and gifting life to the spiritual captive that is known as the spirit of depression we went headlong all the way to the depths of depression, which became the worst possible experience, which may have turned out to be suicide or um, gluttony or some manifestation of suffrage that we took into ourselves because we weren't listening to ourselves saying we're dealing with the spirit of depression. So the reality is we knew this before we came here. We knew this with absolute clarity and we knew the footsteps we would take and the spiritual grounds that we would walk. We just forgot what Yeshua said when he said, set the captives free. And he also gave us the warning. We talked about this earlier. If you set free anything of a spirit nature or a demonic nature, you must welcome the presence of God within or many of like kind will return. So what does that mean? Let's go to vibrational understanding. People, a lot of people speak about vibrational awarenesses. What if a person has become accustomed to the spiritual vibration of depression? They loose and free the captive of depression in one moment, but they don't sit in the presence of God and recognize God's presence within that space. They have now established themselves as a pathway from the order of principalities, a pathway that now recognizes that vibration of depression within this human vessel. And once they've loosed and freed and released themselves of the spirit of depression and not replaced it with the presence of God, they are now in a known vibrational manifestational vessel to make known the spirit of depression. That's what Yeshua meant, that many of like kind will surface within this ground. And this is what so many people are missing. First of all, God is not casting you into suffering. You chose this path to bring freedom to the captives that did not know of their nature, depression, sadness, um, anxiety, whatever it happens to be. So the reality is, it's not that God is watching us with a microscope, everybody in misery. 
God has trusted us enough to enter upon this existence of humanity. And if you do see yourself dealing with things of great difficulty or, or challenges or um, depression or whatever, it's because you are trusted in that role before God to walk that ground within humanity. And we at Grace Healing only suggest, please seek God first. If something rises that does not fit an attribute of God, that is one of the captives that you have been charged by Yeshua to set free. Well, and also in the Word of God, in Scripture, talks about um, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Exactly. So there's that with the Word of God and um, also setting the captives free that we have power in the tongue. It's either life or death. That's spoken in the Word of God, yeah. too. So there's many, many things that uh, even those of a Christian say these things. Why is God doing this to me? Mm -hmm. Why has this happened to me? Or non-Christians, it doesn't matter. We do lack the knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's there. So this is one reason, another part of where grace healing is. To you coming to a greater awareness of the truth of God's Word that's within your heart to setting these captives free and what they really mean. Mm -hmm. So being enlightened and understanding, and when you see what Larry was sharing there, it's that simple. And being in first seeking Yeshua, his true love for you, and then you come into a great awareness, and then as you seek, you shall find, knock, and the door will be open. With me, all things are possible. If God before you, who could be against you? Exactly. So <clears throat> there are these things that rise. There, it's just setting these captives free and receiving the fullness of God's very presence, and that takes time, mm -hmm. doesn't it? When yeah. You've never experienced. Well, you've mentioned it. before that they have to grow. Like, if, if taking the golf example that you use. Yeah, muscle memory. Um, yeah. Training of your thoughts and yeah, your you brain. Yeah, you train yourself to be godlike in attributes. Yes. You find yourself falling short of that. Hmm. It's not that God made you end up in a situation that caused you difficulty. It's you weren't measuring your, reaction, your actions against the attributes of God, and you found yourself in the midst of the abyss, in suffrage, in sadness, in depression, in regret, whatever it happened to be, because you weren't paying attention to the nature of your attributes. It's not just because you're saved, but you have to measure the nature of your actions in order to become more Christ-like, God-like manifestation of God's holy principles and attributes in all that you do. Yes, and His true love. And we want you to know, too, here at Grace Healing, we love you dearly. We're here 24-7, and you can reach out to us whenever you like. But we exactly. look forward to seeing you next time. We Click on the you. link, say like and subscribe, and you'll find the numbers and all things within the website. Have a blessed day. We love you. Bye-bye. my heart where the light keeps shining and I choose to